Hey, how's it going? And I just wanted to do a super quick video on creating a struct and how to instantiate a vector. So this came up just a couple days ago and I really couldn't find anywhere online where it said how to instantiate a vector. And so I thought you might find this helpful. To create a structure, we just come up here right under the modules and we use this, the keyword struct and we can just go my struct colon equals struct and then we can put different kinds of data types in here so there's no really limit to the kinds of data that we can put in here in our struct things that are have some sort of relationship to one another a couple things so here my vector is actually a built-in struct so if i press control and click on it it takes you here and you'll see that it is defined as a struct type anyway and so is vector three how we instantiate that is very similar to how we instantiate our own struct we created up here. We just create a variable, call it my vector2, or whatever you want to call it, and then we call it the vector2 type equals, and then we have to put the type, again vector2, and then curly braces, and then we use x and y because those are the variable names they use within the struct. Vector3 is the same thing except we would add a z. We could drop off z and we don't get an error, which means I guess that field would just be left blank if we were to do that. But this has three placeholders, this has two. But we instantiate it in the style of a struct because that's what it is. And then our new struct, we have new struct here. It's referencing my struct that we built up here. There's no values really in here. And then we just go my struct. And notice that I only have to instantiate what I want to instantiate. I don't have to put a value in here if I don't want to put a value in here. So like I left my number out, but I could easily put it in here. So if I just type in colon equals, and it has to be a float, so I just go 1.1 see I could add that as well so we just have a custom print string right there but it just go the value of my 3 is 3 to access a value within a vector you call the name dot and then you reference the name of that particular field so here the field is string 1 but I built it here and I instantiated it here so I call new struct not my struct we can just take a look and see what comes out of this so I can end the game the value of 3 is XYZ 234 to access a value within a vector is 4 string 1's value is this is a day in February and that's it just short quick and easy because I couldn't find a reference to this online and it was just kind of frustrating anyway take care have a great day and I'll talk to you next time